Okay, so as you can see, there's a mural behind me. I just painted that over the last couple of weeks and I'm going to be taking you through the entire process of how I did it. My name's Naomi, I'm a full-time artist. I paint, I do a lot of things and this is actually my first video. So if you're interested, then let's just get started. So I just wanted to tell you the process. I always use a face mask, a respirator, whenever I use spray paint because it's really bad for you and can kill your brain and I didn't want to do that. So for this mural, this is the first mural I've ever done and it was very intimidating at first. I'll be honest, I did not know how I was going to complete the entire piece. But the first day, I wanted to focus on just getting in the general shape. And I just eyeballed everything. I had a mock-up that I referenced, but it was mostly just figuring out everything as I went on. The entire theme of it was to feel very beachy. We are in Long Beach, New York, and since it is a bicycling studio, we wanted to get some bikes in there. As you can see, I put down the first layer with spray paint to get the general shape, and then I went back in with acrylic paint and just got in all of the little curvy, wavy parts to make it feel a little bit more realistic while still keeping that sort of graffiti feel. Obviously, it's not realism, so it's not just a blue wave, but I wanted to incorporate a lot of colors. So when you walk into the room, it's like, whoa, there is a huge pop of color, and I think it accomplished that. So I'm just going to let it play out for a little bit, and you can just watch what I do. So at this point, I'm just going back and forth between spray paint and acrylic paint and as you can see, I had the respirator on the entire time because the whole room just reeked of spray paint fumes, which is, like I said, so bad for you. But I wanted it to feel like the wave was really crashing down and in real life, there's so much mist. So I wanted it to have that very like misty feel and I ended up putting a lot of splatter paint around there, which I did with spray paint, which you will see in just the moment. I ended up putting a bicycle sort of riding the wave and then another bicycle right below where I'm painting right now. So I needed to find a way to make the background white and have it blend into the graffiti on top. I ended up mixing different colors of pinks and oranges and blues and just made it feel very soft, almost like it was blending, even though it's two completely different areas of the mural. And now I'm going back in. We are doing the second part of the wall. It's broken up into three different areas, so I really had to take my time on it and do it in sections because the entire piece was a bit overwhelming. This is the first bicycle that I worked on. I didn't get footage of the entire painting, but it was a little bit boring, so it's not that big of a deal. But I ended up eyeballing each of the bicycles and just making them as circular as I could, and then going back in, fixing up everything, and making it really clean and neat at the end. For the middle part, I just ended up writing the ride in this fun print, which is the name of the cycling studio. I wanted to get footage of it, but my camera died, so there was that. And this is how the wall ended up coming out. I'm going to be posting more videos of the paintings I do and the processes behind them, so if you want to see that, then stay tuned. <laughs> 